every parameter can have its content, value, or state defined in the following ways. By manually entering this data as a numerical value, for example, position, by using a generator that will procedurally create this data according to different parameters, and by acquiring a value from another parameter using links. Once this data is obtained, you can change it by adding modifiers onto it using the modifier slot, which is the slot with a scientific flask. Like generators, there are different types of modifiers. Images, text data, single and multi-dimensional numerical data, and 3D objects. The list of modifiers will be filtered according to the type of parameter you're altering. Most creative software applications call these elements effects, often confining them to images and sounds. Autograph offers a more general approach and uses the term modifiers. Unlike generators that can only be used once as a parameter source, you can add as many modifiers as you want. A list of modifiers is created and grouped in a new section available as a source subparameter. Autograph applies them one after another, starting from the first one on the list and progressively going down. This new section is called a modifiers group and it's visible both in the timeline and in the properties panel with the usual differences between these two display modes. The stack requires you to unfold the subsections and the properties panel lets you go inside like a subdirectory. You have to remember that modifiers are organized on a list where the order of execution is read from top to bottom. The order of modifiers on this list has a big impact on the final result. In the following example, two modifiers have been added to a logo, a blur, and an edge detect that draws contours according to the image contrast. Here you can compare the original image without modifiers, the addition of a blur followed by an edge detect, and the addition of an edge detect followed by a blur. In order to control the order in which modifiers are applied, just click and drag them to move them up or down on the list. Some special modifiers can replace generator content. The purpose of a modifier is to turn a value into something else, but some modifiers can go as far as replacing this value with a target value, progressively or not. Animator, which when in target value mode gradually replaces the starting value with a custom one. and math, which has a replace mode that lets you animate a numerical value toward another one according to a weight between 0.0, .0 and 1.0. As soon as a first modifier is added to a numerical parameter, its value will be split into two fields. For one-dimensional parameters, the two values will be displayed side by side. The original value is on the left, it remains available for manual edit and is not grayed out if no generators are used on any established links. The output value is on the right. It's used by Autograph at the time of calculation, and it's grayed out to show that it can't be edited. For 2D, 3D, and 4D parameters, these two values will be placed one below the other on two separate lines. The principle mentioned for one-dimensional parameters remains the same. This layout just makes the values more legible. When a parameter is linked with another one, it's the output value after applying the modifiers that'll be used. Modifiers have been designed to allow you to perform extremely complex operations without having to type a single line of code whereas many software solutions require a type of programming called expressions. In Autograph, you don't need expert programming skills to perform recurring tasks, like creating a frame that fits a dynamic text, for example.